It is a little bit dark in here, maybe, but this is uh, my garage. And uh, two Mercedes parked in here. Both are E400 series. One is a 2016. This one here is a 2018. So this is a two-door car. And uh, the other one is the four-door sedan. It's a little older. It has about uh, 65,000 kilometers on it. And this one has, uh, I think it's about nine, ten thousand kilometers, something like that. It's our most recent purchase. So I've got these two cars in the garage. Uh, mine, the one over there, that's the one I'm driving. This is the one my wife is driving. She liked the more sporty one, so she's driving that. And I'm driving the little bit older one. But uh, that one doesn't get a heck of a lot of use in the wintertime because I've got uh, an Acura MDX, and I use that most of the time in the winter. This one is the only vehicle of all the, the vehicles we have that has snow tires on it, and it gets the least amount of use in the snow because I just try to keep that one relatively clean. If it's a shit day outside or crappy, I just leave this one in the garage. I only drive it when it's nice, and uh, the rest of the time I use the other one. So... That is uh, the two Mercedes. Outside, there is one more Mercedes. This one is parked by the side of the house. And this one is uh, now an antique. It's a 25-year-old car this year. It is a 300D 1995. And I've got it parked for the winter, and as you can see, it's covered in snow. But it's in beautiful shape. It just has 100,000 kilometers on it for a 1995. No rust. Um, it's in great shape. The interior is phenomenal. And it's just parked outside for the winter. I drive that during the summertime and use that to, to move around. As I mentioned a moment ago, the MDX, there it is there. That's a 2007 MDX. And uh, it's starting to get a little bit of rust. But I need a vehicle like that for towing my Sea-Doo in the winter, or the summer, and uh, hauling the, the trailer, which is back over there. You didn't quite see the trailer. It's behind the car. So I kind of need a, a vehicle like that. And uh, whether I replace that or whether I just hang on to that, I don't know yet. We'll see. So it is the, not quite middle of November. I think it's about the 9th or 10th, something like that. No, it's the 8th today. Yesterday was the 7th. Snow is back in Toronto. There's our snow pile in the middle of the court. They usually come a day or so after it's snowed. They do the main roads first, and then they bring kind of a plow thing in here and whip around the court. And every court in the subdivision gets one of these big piles of snow that takes forever to melt. Nice little court. It's 12 Dell Glen Court. There's the house there. We can tilt up. Oh, it's down. Sorry, the wrong way. Tilt up. This is the DJI Osmo Pocket with the uh, little uh, uh, attachment to it that allows me to tilt up and down. It's a great feature to have on it. It's an accessory. Of course, you buy the product and then it's add-on, add-on, add-on. The neighbor has this house for sale here. Lots of uh, people looking at it, but nobody buying. And the reason is, is because the house is completely gutted. He started a little renovation project a couple of years ago that got out of hand. And the next thing you know, all three floors of that house were gutted. Right back to the concrete brick walls. And uh, so that house is going to require four to $500,000 on top of the asking price of $1.7 million dollars. To, to finish it off so that's why nobody has bought it yet just it's going to require a lot of work great neighbors we're going to miss them but they're moving on the snow pile <laughs>